So, Mr. Moody, Ms. Vaughn, yes. I read in the court file that you even have a younger child. Yes, yes Your Honor. And truth is, there are certain doubts surrounding the paternity of that child as well. Yes, yes Your Honor. Explain. It's the same, same situation, Your Honor. Um, as far as her being a cheater back in the past, and I don't know what she's doing now, so I still feel the same as I did with Kadir. It's a possibility that child may, may or may not be mine because I still feel she's doing the same thing, even to this very day. And Ms. Vaughn, how does that make you feel to hear him say this? It hurts me, Your Honor, but I understand because of the past and of, um, the lie detection and I just want to move forward so we can have some kind of understanding, some kind of... Um, we can move, we can be better as a family by him knowing this. We can move forward. And you've bonded with this baby as well. Yes, Mr. I have. Moody. You have a beautiful relationship. Yes, I have. Yes, I do. And so it means something to you. You want to be this child's father as well. Yes, I do. And so have you thought about, if you're not, is it the same situation as with Kadir, where you feel like you can't continue the relationship if this child is not yours? Yes, Your Honor. Same, same thing. I will leave. So these results are very important. Yes, they are. Yes, Your Honor. Well, we wanted you to have these results because we do want you to have the full understanding as it relates to every child. This is about the child for us. Yes, Your Honor. So these are the results. They were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. And they read as follows. In the case of Moody versus Vaughn, when it comes to three-month-old Ayan Moody, it has been determined by the court. Mr. Moody, you are the father. Ooh, that's two in a row. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's three in a row. Oh, that's, that's my baby, three in a row. <laughs> <laughs> so now, you were happy, so I can tell you really were nervous. You didn't oh. know. Yes, I was, real, I was nervous, real nervous. Before I let you all go, because you guys got plenty of kids to go take care of, <laughs> but I do want to say this. I'm happy that you got the result you wanted, but what I really want most for you is to figure out how to work on this relationship so that we can stop this cycle. You all are in a vicious cycle. And Ms. Vaughn, I hope you've learned how, you know, you maybe have gotten to a place in your life where it's over for you, you're done behaving the way you used to. You're ready to be committed. You're ready to be that family woman you always wanted to be. But it's not over for Mr. Moody. Yes, ma'am. And that's in large part because of the lies. Once someone lies to you and betrays your trust and you, you don't know everything they say, you don't know if they're saying it or not. Especially when you admit that at some point you felt like it was pathological where you were just lying to be lying. Yes, ma'am. That's a scary thing. And it's hard to be in a relationship with a person when you can't trust what they say. So you're going to have to do some work. Yes, ma'am. And that's not just going to be, hey, I've changed. That's going to have to be real work. And it may be answering that extra question you don't think you should have to answer. Or it may be not giving that person a ride home where you don't even have to explain any nonsense and he don't have to feel some kind of way because we're not there yet in our relationship and in our trust. Yes, ma'am. But, Mr. Moody, you've got to do your part, too. And when she's showing you she's doing the right thing... Yes, ma'am. ...when she's trying to do her best, you've got to allow the past to be just that. Yes, ma'am. Or then the lies and the mistrust and, 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 and the toxic relationship will continue to be your present and your future. Yes, and you don't want that for yourselves or for the children. No, ma'am. And they take their cues from you. They learn what relationships are like. And you don't want Kadir to grow up one day and every time his wife tells him something, he don't believe nothing. She said, you know why? Because that's how my daddy acted towards my mother. Yes. And you also don't want him to not believe anything because his mother wasn't trustworthy. Yes, ma'am. And his mom was always sketchy coming in any old time and don't know. Children, they act out what they see. So I want you all to take advantage of the counseling we have for you with Dr. Jeff and yes. talk about this and figure out how to start from day one. Get back to the basics. The fundamentals of family. Yes, ma'am. And relationships. It's trust and commitment. And you're not the first couple. We all got to do it. Yes, ma'am. 
I've done it in my own life. Sometimes you just got to get back to square one. All right? Yes, ma'am. Right. It ain't no shame in that game. Okay? All right. Yes. I wish you all the very best. You're such a beautiful family. Thank you. Thank you.